Hi folks, it's Max from uh, Nexus4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to backup your apps using Titanium Backup. This will backup all of your apps with app data. Um, and this is a great way, instead of using the ADB backup, that was just for rooting. Um, now when you install custom ROMs, I highly recommend you to get Titanium Backup app. Uh, go ahead and go to Play Store and type Titanium. And uh, go ahead and install Titanium Backup Root. And I highly recommend you to get the Pro Key. It's totally worth it when you're restoring apps. Um, it'll be all in one, one, uh, one step, one click. So go ahead and get both. Uh, definitely worth it. Now for backing up, you won't need it. Just for restoring, you'll need um, the Pro app because otherwise you'll have to install. You have to keep clicking every time it installs an app. So let me go ahead and open Titanium Backup app and grant and uh, I'm gonna go ahead hit OK don't worry about all this when you're backing up um, you don't have to worry about that I'll show you uh, when I restore it so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, back up all of my apps um, go to schedule and I just highly recommend just using that you can also schedule it um, I don't really mess with that but you can if you want to uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and back it up and also this does have a bunch of options um, where you can actually uh, you know upload some of your stuff to let me see here um, there we go well for this purposes I'll just show you how to backup and restore uh, but there's many functionalities of titanium backup um, you should know and I'm gonna actually go ahead and install a new ROM uh, and then I'm gonna show you restoring all of my apps back with my settings um, so I got my Gmail, Facebook, Twitter uh, Google Plus. Actually, those are pretty much the apps I have on there right now. But uh, I'll show you that I restore all my apps, and I'll be back when this is done restoring or backing up. It's at 30%. When your backup has finished, you'll get a notification: batch backup finished, and that's all good. And uh, we'll go ahead and install a new ROM, um, and I'll be back when I install a new ROM. All right, see y'all later. Hi, right, folks. So I did install AOKP ROM. Um, and uh, let's say I want to go restore my apps. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Play Store. Go ahead and sign in and then go di download Titanium. Uh, type Titanium and go ahead and install the both of them, the Pro Key. I highly recommend you buy it. I highly recommend it. There's also other apps that back up, you know, apps, restore apps. But I like this one most. I've been using this uh, the most. And also, it's very reliable. And also, there's other features like you can uninstall any apps you don't like, freeze them, um, stuff like that. And I don't work for Titanium Backup uh, developers. I just like it because it's a good um, application. So go ahead and install both. You'll have to buy the Pro Key. Uh, in order to use the paid version, you you will need both the free and the key, as the key is just the key. So if you've got both installed. I'm gonna go to Titanium Backup. And uh, it's going to ask for my root lights, root root rights. Uh, hit grant and hit OK, OK. And uh, also make sure go to settings here and go down to developer options and make sure USB debugging is checked on when you restore all of your apps. If you don't have this, sometimes it'll hang. So that's why you need to do that. So go ahead and open up Titanium Backup app. Um, now I'm going to go to whoops, sorry, not menu. Uh, go to this this check button here and uh, it'll calculate all the different scenarios you can do uh, if you go under restore you can restore all apps with data um, all of this stuff I don't recommend actually using any of this just use restore missing apps with data um, you can do restore all apps with data also uh, but uh, it's gonna also probably restore all of your system apps so you'll, you'll wanna uncheck that so I'm gonna just do the first option um, so these are all the apps I installed. Uh, they're non-system apps. Um, double check it. If there's any apps you don't want to include, like let's say I don't want Android keyboard um, restored, and then you can do that and hit the check button, and boom, I've got all my Twitter. Um, you can you can verify apps if you want to. I'm I'm just gonna disagree because those are apps I've already downloaded from Play Store. It's just gonna take longer. Now it's gonna restore all my apps. Oops, well, it's going to keep asking me. Um, that's a first. I think this is a new new Google feature. 
That's kind of annoying. You usually ha don't have to do that. And uh, let me see if it's going to keep asking me. Yeah. So just hit accept and it will just restore. Um, let me also show you how to restore some of the apps individually. And uh, that will be the next step when this is done. And you can actually let it run in the background. Uh, it will actually restore in the background. So I'll be back when this is done. So it is done in uh, Titanium Backup Pro Finish. Now my launcher is Nova Launcher and it didn't restore my Nova Launcher's uh, data. So you can actually go into Titanium Backup, go to Backup and Restore tab and go find your Nova Launcher. And if there is a backup, it did back it up, uh, it's probably a system app it backed up. So what you can do is go ahead and click on it and uh, uh, see if you can restore. All right, and data only, and this will restore. Uh, yeah, restore my all my apps on my Nova Launcher. So some some apps might be in uh, under system apps. You can go those individually and restore them like this. Uh, if you try to restore all of your system apps, you might get into trouble as customer ROMs. Um, you know they can crash uh, when you restore the wrong system app. So that way you can go to individual ones and uh, restore it. And also you can also go in here and back up any apps individually also um, just by clicking on it. They're all backed up but you can back it up again. Also freeze apps. Um, that will pretty much uh, freeze your app so it won't run. And also this is how you can uninstall some of the bloatware um, that you don't want any system apps, stuff like that. Anyway, that was how to back up and restore your apps using uh, Titanium Backup app. Highly recommend it. And if you have a Nexus 4, as always, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus4root.com. And, uh, and if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me or subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys later. Have fun installing custom ROMs uh, and also restoring all of your apps uh, back to the way it was after you install a new ROM. See you all later.